The Belleville Area Humane Society struck by thieves. The executive director says someone stole a donation box prior to today's big fundraiser, which is one of their biggest of the year. That theft happened yesterday. The organization doesn't know just how much money was stolen, but it hopes to make up the loss with today's event. News 11's Laura Simon covered this all-important fundraiser today and has this report. So this is Ruby. She's a mini dachshund. She's eight years old and she's dressed here as a dog carrying a beer keg with another dog and I'm her poured beer. <laughs> really it's it's just a tribute to the amount of beer I drink and that she is a German dog which is very beer related. Dozens of people in their pads are lined up here at the Belleville Area Humane Society's costume contest. We've got Alvin and the chipmunks here. This is Theodore. Dorothy and Toto also took the stage, and so did these dogs dressed as Danny and Sandy from Greece. My girl's doing, and he won two years ago with his pumpkin outfit, for, so we're going for first place again in, in the couples. Our own morning anchor, John Pertzborn, was one of the judges. When you're coming back. It's going to be very, very, very challenging to pick the best dog and cat. I haven't seen any ferrets yet, but they always bring all kinds of different animals. And so what we're looking for is uniqueness, something that stands out and oftentimes something that matches with the owner and the dog or cat. He let us know what caught his eye right away. Meow. But I did see a costume that really stands out and it's a cat dressed as a lobster. Ultimately, only four of the 60 plus entries could walk away as winners and for the first time ever, a cat won the costume contest. Yeah, that cat Pert saw dressed as a lobster. Their owner in the chef uniform was a nice touch too. Prizes include Purina gift baskets as well as Lucky Dog, our wonderful sponsor Lucky Dog, donating some um, care lessons and some doggy daycare lessons. The owners of each pet entered into the costume contest paid a $5 entry fee all to raise money for the BAHS. We have four big fundraisers every year. This is the most community based where we get out in the community and people see us and can come and join us for free and just have some fun. Reporting in downtown Belleville, I'm Laura Simon. And John Pertzborn really got into this deal. He truly loves dogs, of course. Uh, concerning, though, the theft of donations that happened yesterday, the Belleville Area Humane Society's executive director issued this statement saying, longtime supporters of this shelter know we do not judge, bash, or shame. So to the individual that felt they had no other choice except to steal a cash box, we're sorry. You felt so desperate to steal from homeless pets. We sincerely hope that you're able to get whatever it is that you needed. We hope you have a full belly and a warm, safe place to sleep. Now, to learn how you can help the Belleville Area Humane Society replace that stolen money, just go to our website, foxunow.com. And of course, we don't have.